low. How are you guys today? Just burning my sage to kind of clear out some energies. And I really wanted to start this conversation on a very positive note. Um, this is my first conversation with you guys and my first time connecting with you all. And I want to really be able to connect. So uh, my name is Alyssa Nicole. I'm a holistic health coach. Um, I basically help people find their true happiness through health and wellness. Um, so health and wellness obviously it comes with a bunch of different things. It encompasses, encompasses your body, your mind, body, and spirit in addition to food, in addition to what you put in your body, both physically through food, through music, through the people that you're around, through the content that you read, things like that. That's all intertwined in wellness. So today I wanted to bring you all a message. Um, this message is about trust. Relationships right now are all the more important. Um, they're always important for you. Um, trust is something that we need in order to build ourselves, build our relationships um, and grow. So you'll see me periodically um, look down at my computer screen um, because I took notes. <laughs> you can't just always just throw into things, but I took notes. So. Um, you can't, you sometimes need to just, I don't know, I need these notes basically. So, um, let's get started into it. So trust, I want to get first start off and give you guys the dictionary definition of what trust is. So trust, the definition, the noun, first one is a noun, um, it's the firm belief in the reality, truth, ability, or strength of someone or something. The other definition is a verb. It's trust as a verb. Believe in the real, uh, real, reliability, truth, ability, or strength of. So trust is just, from that definition, is just believing in someone. Believing in someone, um, which can be very difficult, especially in today's times where everybody is talking about don't trust nobody, you can't trust nobody, and watch your back and stuff like that, you, you, you get anxious, you get fear, and you become distrustful. But one thing I want to tell you is that trust is a very, very positive emotion. You must, it, it's a good thing to trust. It's not a bad thing to trust. While there are some people who aren't very trustful out, trustworthy about in, out in this world, it is still healthy and positive to be able to trust other people. So uh, one of our philosophers, our great philosophers, um, if you want to call him great, I, I don't really know much about him, but um, I'm going to chop up this name. Um, but his name is Jean Jacques Ra uh, Rosie Wu. He's a French writer and political theorist um, of the Enlightenment of Europe. So European guy, I'm sure. Um, but he suggested that Truth is a psychological state uh, comprising the intention to accept vulnerability based upon positive expectations of the intentions or behavior of another. So basically from that, what I get is that trust is simply, it's a mental state that where you accept to be vulnerable with another person. You are, um, you expect the interactions with these people to be positive by default. So some of the things I want to get into is like the different types of things that come with trust. What type of emotions are invoked when you trust another person? And the very first one is vulnerability. You are able, you're being yourself and you're allowing your guard down and you're opening up to these, this person and you allow your emotions to flow freely and you can tell them anything, like you share things with them. It's a vulnerable place um, to be in when you are trusting somebody without any judgment. Um, the second one will be consistency. So that one is very important because when you think about trust, trust isn't, isn't a thing that's built in a day. You know, you, you don't just go and you automatically trust. Well, that's a lie, I, I, well, it's not a lie, but I miss, misspoke. 
we inherently trust a person by default. That's our default setting. Many people who sit up here and they say, oh, I don't trust nobody, I don't trust nobody, are lying because their actions show a lot differently. That they can meet someone new and they inherently trust them. They get in their car, they go out and hang out with them, they give them things. Like, you, we entrust by a default. Like, that's just our default setting and that's essential for our survival. That keeps us together because guess what? More people are trustworthy than, than they're not. However, there are still untrustworthy people out here with motives. There are still people out here who have some type of goal or something to gain. Um, and that's why they are basically untrustworthy because they have something, they want something, they're, they have motives. Um, but the vast majority of people aren't like that, you know? And that's just the reality. So I'm not, when I say this, I'm not saying don't watch your back, but I'm saying understand that you're most likely going to meet trustworthy people, but don't be naive. So consistency. This person is doing the same things over and over. They're demonstrating to you that they are trustworthy because they're doing it over and over. They're consistent. They tell you that they're gonna do something and they follow through. They say, hey, I'm gonna pick you up later and we're gonna do X, Y, and Z, and they do it. You know, they say, hey, um, I need you to be here at X, Y, and Z time, and they do it. You know, it, and that's that, cause that consistency is important. Doing what you, being and doing what and who you said over and over and over again. That builds trust. It's not enough to do it once, you have to do it over and over again. Continue to have those same behaviors. That's how you build trust. And that's also how you recognize trust in other people is by watching those actions, seeing that consistency, allowing them to show you, can they be there for you over and over? Also reciprocity. So putting equal amounts of effort into things. Relationships are 100, 100, 100, 100, not 50, 50, not 80, 20, not 60, 40, not none of that, the 100, 100, you have to put everything into your relationships no matter what they are why because that is how you build trust when somebody can tell that you're putting energy and you're all into something or into something or someone they know and believe that you will follow through again so you have to reciprocate and also when you're dealing with other people if you're putting in all this energy and time and effort what are they doing to give back how are they reciprocating okay they have to be able to give that same energy back also safety and security so you know and you feel that this person you're safe with this person or this thing this company this idea whatever you don't feel like if it's a friend you don't feel like this friend is gonna go spread your business or talk negatively about you you don't feel like you're being judged by them. You feel safe. You are, you know that when you talk, they're gonna listen and they're gonna actually understand you. You feel safe. So that's the thing. You don't feel like every time you get around them, you gotta tiptoe because you don't wanna make them angry. You don't feel like you need to only share certain types of information because you know that like people are like, oh, you don't share with people your goals because people will knock them. Well, if people are, you're sharing your goals with people and they're knocking them down, then you can't trust that person. That's not a trustworthy person. You want people around you who you can, that can pour into you and you can pour into them back. That's where we go back to reciprocity. You want to be able to pour into each other, you know, be there for each other. Um, and that safety and security, it feels safe and secure in doing so. Um, that's in very important. Also, intimacy. Um, allowing intimacy, just allowing that. Um, when we think about intimacy, a lot of times we think sex. <laughs> we think that it's about that physical thing, but intimacy is a lot deeper. It's, it's more of that connection. It's, it goes back to safety and security. It goes back into re reciprocity is being able to let go and be vulnerable. So intimacy is extremely important um, in a form of trust. So 
when we think about trust, we it's it's one of like the most difficult things to achieve in a person. And guess what? We none of us are perfect out here. None of us. So we've probably been untrustworthy at points in our lives. We probably haven't in, in even me just saying this right now, because I, I took notes and a lot of, but I'm still kind of free form talking from my heart because I really wanted to be able to do that for you guys. Even me just saying this stuff is like, I'm, I'm picturing in my mind, like, damn, there has been times where I have not been the best of person to other people. And guess what? That's okay. You fix it. You never consider continue in that same pattern. When you learn something, you grow and you fix it. You do better. That's what you do. You don't continue in those same habits over and over again because you're going to continue with the, getting the same things out of life. You change and you grow. Even though you might not have been the best to another person, it's okay. You, you, can, be better ne- you can be better to the next person that comes around. Always remember that. So with trust, it takes years, obviously, to build. It could take years. It could take a matter of time. It takes time to build this type of trust with a person. Um, however, you can break trust within a matter of seconds. Now, by default, you trust a person. So you're gonna you're going to automatically put yourself into that person. So you're gonna automatically trust that person. But when you initially get confronted with those feelings of trust in that person initially they're conflicting you're conflicting against fear and distrust and wanting to be vulnerable not wanting to be vulnerable wanting to give your all not wanting to give your all like it's like i want to try it's like your nature innately subconsciously you're trusting this person because you're investing your time you're investing your energy you're you're seeking them you're there for them but at the same time you're feeling like is this right will they hurt me should i draw back let me put my guard up like you're you're feeling all of these different things in in because you just don't know because there are people around here who will use you who will manipulate you who will take advantage of you but one thing that i have to say about that is that has nothing to do with you you move smart you always know you always know what something is before it happens that's called your intuition and that's called trusting yourself you understand you have to trust yourself first and foremost you have to trust that you can make sound decisions and never over not don't over overestimate or underestimate other people but especially do not do that to yourself you want to make sure that you're not you know because if you're too high up there and you're like oh yeah my radar is good i can read people like a book somebody come in my life and i can read them and i know who they are from the start you make yourself a list a little bit more vulnerable to being hurt because you think that you you have this such sound judgment, which you might have really good judgment, but it, you might have this such sound judgment that kind of causes you to maybe trust the wrong people or the wrong person because you thought that you were you didn't you didn't use the amount of cautions that you should have when you did it. However, you might undermine your amount of trust, and you might think. Oh, I don't, you know, I can't trust people. So you bottle up, you think through things like isolate yourself. You do things like not communicate with people, not be open with people. Not only does that make you not trust others and it holds you back in life, it also makes others not trust you. Cause they're gonna look at you and be like, why is she so close to him? Why is she so quiet? What she got to hide? So as a balance, you know, don't be overly overdo it, but don't underdo it either. <laughs> and that's what that happy medium, and that's why you have to trust yourself to know that you are making the right decisions. You are doing what it is that you are supposed to be doing. You don't have to give more of yourself than what you want to. But also don't give less of yourself than you need to or want to. You need to be in the middle, a happy medium, and you determine that for yourself. Nobody can determine that for you. You know what's right for you. Don't allow anybody to tell you how to act or be, but also be mindful of the things that you, how, you, how you're perceived and how 
others around you are looking at you and also how you feel and think about yourself. These are the most, um, most big, the biggest things, I guess. So we can, all, we trust people and sometimes we don't even know it that we're trusting people. Like it's one of those things where it's like, it just happens. You think, oh, I don't trust nobody. Cause that's what some people say, oh, I don't trust nobody. Yet you just invited them to your house. They know where you stay now. You know, like that's, that's trust. You, you understand that's trust because that person could come and do something. I'm not saying that, you know, trying to instill fear. However, like, but that's trust. You say, I don't trust nobody, but you introduce them to your friends. They know your circle. You say you don't trust nobody, but you lay up with them and you, you, you know, stuff like that. You do trust. You trust and they, you meet somebody and you trust them all right off back. Um, but that doesn't necessarily, or it just could be you met somebody in the grocery store and you had a brief conversation with this person. I mean, I say still use caution. Don't go around talking about your um, business out to everybody. Be cautious, be responsible. But just having that exchange of energy to have that conversation with another person, that's trust. Like, right there. You trusted that person to be present for you in that moment. You probably never talked to them again, but you trusted that person to be present with you in that moment. You trusted them. That's all it really is, you know? So, going back to trust is a positive emotion. It's a good emotion. You need to trust people. You must trust people. Emotions, and we'll talk about more into this type of, um, this, 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 topic but emotions they're your power they can either drive drive you towards your greater good or they can keep you stagnant it's all about how you use it trust as an emotion is all about how you use it it can keep you stagnant or it can help you grow and drive you towards success you choose it's your choice you know, um, harnessing the power of your emotions can not only put you in a more positive mood, but it can make you a more trustworthy person. So when you can control your emotions and you can, um, can kind of feel that power and understand it, you it makes you more trustworthy because when people understand and can see that you, um, when people around you can understand and see that, oh, this person acts rationally, this person displays certain a certain type of restraint or humbleness or things like they trust you because they're like i know in this situation when things get tough when the going gets tough because that's what really trust is all about when the things when the going gets tough can you withstand can can you stand the rain hey <laughs> okay that was lame but <laughs> But that's what it is. Like when it comes down to the grip, people want to know, can you can you pull through when I need you? You know, and that's usually when trust gets lost is you didn't come through for me the way I needed you to come through for me. The way you said that you were going to come through for me. The way you preached how I'm so loyal, I'm so this, I'm so that. And then when it was time to move, you didn't move right. You know, like that's that's how you lose trust. So, um, what happens in your brain when you have positive emotions is that it releases dopamine into your brain. You know, dopamine is that happy hormone. Um, so when it releases, when you release dopamine into your brain, you become a likable person because you become happy. You become upbeat. You become excited. That dopamine is important to keep you feeling good and not, you become more trusting of others when you have more dopamine inside. You become more trusting of others, more accepting of others. That's important because in order for others to accept you, you have to accept them. You understand? In order for others to accept you, you have to accept them for who they are, flaws and all. Can nobody can accept you if you're not accepting them? Okay? So it's a good thing. So I don't wanna hear nobody talking about 
I don't trust nobody, team, no friends, team, da, da, da. I don't want to hear nobody talking about that because that is unproductive. It's unproductive. So by, if you don't trust people, if you don't trust people, you can't take advantage of opportunities for yourself. And not only that, other people cannot properly utilize your skills. See, this is where reciprocity comes into the type of trust. Now, when you want to trust, yes, you're trying to gain things for yourself, but you also want to give to other people. That's where the reciprocity comes in. You want to be able to take advantage of the opportunities that people present to you. And if you can't trust them fully, how can they pour into you? You close your top. The top is closed. You, you can't get poured into when the top is covered. You got to take the top off. And that's the same thing with them. You want people to be able to use you too. They can't use your skills if you don't trust them. And if they don't trust you. Usually when you don't trust somebody, it's because you're competing. Now you're in competition. That's usually, I don't trust my competitors. I don't trust people who got, you know, clearly got ulterior motives of they're trying to one up me. Because when I, we're competing, it's a thing where, look, you gonna do anything to win. And people will do anything to win. Compete with nobody but yourself. You understand? So, it's just our nature. Follow your instincts, follow your gut, follow your intuition. We have that for a reason. We have that intuition, we have that gut for a reason. That gut feeling for a reason because it drives us, it helps us make our decisions, we need it. So use it. Alrighty people, thank you for listening to me again. My name is Alyssa Nicole. I am a holistic health coach. I'm also the owner of Living Bliss LLC. Um, we are the go-to place for health information and a place to find one's own true happiness. So connect with me, like, subscribe, and follow. I hope to talk to you all soon.